Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. In this video, I'll show you three fun and easy DIYs that you can use for going back to school. If you're like me and you're done with school, you can of course still make these for yourself. And these projects are some ways to help organize some of the stuff that you might already take to class or work. And rather than buy these things from the store, I will show you an easy way how to make them. And you can customize these in a fun way through DIY. If you're looking for more back to school related videos, I have a whole playlist on them and you can check that out up here and I will put the link in the video description below. And if you are new here, make sure you're subscribed to my channel Sea Lemon so you can see more DIY. And if you make any of these projects, I would love to see your pictures. So share those with me on my social links. And if you can, add a hashtag Sea Lemon to them. All right, let's get into it. First, I'll show you an easy DIY pencil case. Start with a quart size baggie that has a slider closure. I don't need the full size of this bag, so I'm going to make this shorter by pulling up the end like this. The magic to this case is duct tape. You can use any color or pattern that you'd like, and this will make your case more durable on the outside. Cut off a piece that's wider than the bag, tape it on just below the slider, Cut off another piece and add that just below it. If you're using pattern tape, it's up to you if you want it to align. And it also helps to do this on a cutting mat so you can put your duct tape on it. Next, flip it over and press the excess tape onto the other side. And repeat the same steps to cover this side. Trim off any excess tape on the sides. And if you have a little bit left over, just press it onto the other side. Now to make the base, you can use the same tape or you can mix it up with a different color like I'm doing. Tape half of it down, flip it over, and then press the other half onto the other side. And trim off any excess and be careful not to cut through the case. And now you have a custom pencil case that was really easy to make. You can fit all your pens and pencils in here and it's a great case to toss into your backpack. Next, I'll show you how to make a cute and easy cord taco for your earbuds. I'll be using craft foam and you can also try this with fabric or vinyl. You'll want a circle to trace, a roll of duct tape is perfect for this, or anything else that is about 9 centimeters wide. Trace a circle onto your material and then cut it out. You can also do this with different shapes. I will show you how to make a slice of pizza, fold the material in half and cut a triangle. When it's unfolded, you should have this diamond shape. Now with brown acrylic paint, I'm going to make it look a little bit more like a taco and sponge on some brown texture for the shell. Using the material that I cut it out from, I'm using that shape as a stencil so that I have a clean line and lightly sponge on the brown to make the outside of the shell. And repeat that step on the other side. And now I'm going to make myself a beef taco. So using the brown again and just paint on some meat and green acrylic paint for some lettuce, and you can garnish your taco however you'd like. The yellow craft foam will be the cheese. Gotta have some sliced tomato on mine, so I'm making little squares of tomatoes. And for the pizza slice, I'm using the same sponge technique to make the crust. Add a little marinara sauce, paint on some pepperoni, and to add a cheesy type effect, I'm using white acrylic paint to kind of make it look like a greasy slice of pizza. When the paint is all dry, flip it over and add sticky back Velcro pieces for the closure. You'll want to apply both of them together so that both of the sides of the taco align. Stick it onto the top half, fold it over and press both of the sides together. And now you have a functional and cute cord taco. I did the same step to the slice of pizza. I also cut out another circle from a green piece of craft foam and painted it to make a watermelon slice. To use these, simply bundle up your earbuds and wrap it into the cord taco and close it and there you go. This is a fun way to organize your earbuds or small cords and they make it easy to find your earbuds when you have them in your purse or backpack and then they won't get all jumbled up in your bag. Next, I'll show you how to make a couple of mini composition notebooks. I'm making these out of letter-sized printer paper. Making your own books allows you to customize your own paper, and if you want to learn how to make some lined paper, I'll put a tutorial up there and link it down below. Fold each sheet in half on the long side, and press down the fold with a bone folder or a pen cap. Do this to each piece of paper, and you should have all of them folded like this, 
and then we're going to make two books by cutting them in half. You can do this by trimming two sheets at a time with a ruler and a craft knife, or if you have a paper trimmer like I do, you can use that as well and it's a little easier and faster. Cut each piece in half and you'll end up with 20 of these for each book. Now stack all of the sheets so that they're centered like a composition book. And you should have a thick stacked pamphlet that looks like this. And repeat this on the other stack of sheets. For the cover, you'll want to use a thick paper like cardstock and I'm going to trace the pamphlet of paper to make the cover. Trace the back cover, and keeping it aligned, flip it over to trace the front cover. Then trim it out. And repeat that to make the other cover for the other book. I went with a piece of white cardstock for this one. Now you can draw or paint whatever you want on the front cover. I'm going with the classic composition pattern that you usually see on these notebooks, and I'm doing that with a permanent marker and making a bunch of squiggles to mimic that rough texture. Don't worry too much about it looking perfect. It's a really easy pattern to draw, and once you do a full page of it, you get the idea that it's supposed to be that composition pattern. I'm still really into cactus, so I wanted to draw some cacti on this pink cover making a bunch of simple cactus shapes to form a pattern. And finished off with a black marker to make the cactus needles. When you're done with both of the covers, now you can bind them to the pages. On the inside of your cover, line the pages up with the center line that you drew when you trace the pages. Use a couple of binder clips to hold the pages and cover together. Use an awl if you have one or a thumbtack. Make sure the binder clips are down and use those as a guide to pierce through the pages and the cover to make your binding holes. And the placement of these binding holes is really up to you. I'm using the binder clips as reference so that they're evenly measured. Now to bind, single thread a needle with craft thread or sewing thread. Start from the outside to the inside. Pull through and make sure the arms of the binding clips are up. I did not do this when I started, but just make sure you have them up so you're not binding those binder clips onto your book. Leave a tail of the thread on the outside of the cover, sew into the next hole and pull through to the outside. This is a saddle stitch binding method, so if you already know how to do this from my previous tutorial, then you should have this down and you can just watch me bind this book with a saddle stitch. Continue sewing and weaving in and out. Return the needle back so that you're going back to where you started so that each space between the binding holes has a line of thread. When you reach the end where that tail of thread is, remove the binding clips and tie the two ends together in a knot. Trim off the excess thread, and if you want to, you can leave the book just like this, but to make it more like a composition book, I'm going to add tape to the center. Press down a piece of black duct tape centered in the middle and flip it over to trim off the excess. And you want to do this right next to the book, but be careful not to trim through the book. Fold the book in half and now we're going to trim the ends so that you have an even edge. You can do this by trimming carefully with a blade and a roller. And to make the pages and cover lay more flat, you can place a heavy weight or a large book on top and let it sit there for a few hours. Repeat that binding step to the other book and you should end up with two mini composition notebooks. I really like how my cactus book turned out and you can do this with so many different colors of paper or patterned paper or even make your own patterned paper. If you want to add an easy rubber band closure to these, check out this tutorial up here and I will also link that in the video description. I hope you like these projects and try one out for yourself. Hit that like button and let me know which one was your favorite in the comments below. It's really hard for me to decide which one is my favorite, but I really did like how the pizza cord organizer came out. I am definitely going to use one of those, maybe all of them, for my earbuds. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel, Sea Lemon, so you don't miss any of my videos. If you want to jump into another back to school related video, check out one of these right here. And again, follow me on my social links. I love connecting with you guys over there. All of these links will be in the video description below. If you're going back to school, good luck, and I hope you have a great start to your new school year. I will see you guys next time.